do not ever give up your OTP to anyone that asks for it. What happened? And I mean, what exactly? How did you get scammed? Well, it was. First of all, thanks for having me. Um, I think it all happened quite quickly, actually. Um, I would. Uh, well, I would give credit to the scammer for being so patient and plan everything out. But the whole process of me being a victim of a scam took place like forty to forty-five minutes. Right. It all started with an automated call. Mm -hmm. That came in like all other automate, uh, automated calls, right? Where it says that oh, you it's a it's like robotish sound that says that you have uh, a certain amount of uh, money unpaid for from my credit card, and I was like, okay, I've have, I've have only two credit cards, and I'm I have a behavior of always clearing off my credit card whenever I spend on it. So at the point of time, I wanted to know more, so they asked me to press zero. So I, I of course I went and pressed zero, and it links me to this. Uh, a lurch like bang person and they said that i have a card that has over more than ten thousand or twenty thousand i forgot the amount that i haven't settled off so i said like, impossible because i've normally settled all my um all my credit card uh debts whenever i use them so they said that um um, no worries, we'll help you check. And then they came back and said that, oh, we, we actually have a card that you actually registered with and you got it from Terengganu. So I'm like, wait wow. a minute, but I've never been to Terengganu before in my whole life. Not that I can remember and definitely not in recent years. Right. So at that point of time, I'm very much of, I do not have this and I did not, and I know that this does, does not belong to me. But if you need my help, then of course, I'll, I'll, I'll give my assistance to you. So the person was very nice and said that it's okay, no worries, we'll, we'll look into it, we'll help you launch a report. And I said, yeah, sure, why not? Because it's not mine, although it's under my name. The account was open under my name. So then they linked me to this so-called police officer or sergeant on the call and said that, hey, um, so we have this report, what not? Let's give me your details and then we'll help you go through a police report on this part. But before that, they said before that, we will just do a little bit of check to make sure that there's no other uh, similar case that involve your identity. I said, yeah, sure, why not? Um, then, of course, they went on to check and whatnot, and then they came back. They came back and said, hey, okay, so we actually got your record, and it seems like this is this cut of yours that haven't been paid up, and also your identity was actually linked in one of the ongoing uh one of the ongoing case that they are actually following on, right? And it involved um, drug smuggling and also money laundering, wow. right? So at that point of time, of course, I'm like, I did not do this. I did not do this. I know where I did not. So if you want to accuse me of something, I, I did not do this. But if you need me to help you on the investigation, I mean, on my end, I did not do it. So why not? Mm -hmm. Right. So, and they kind of just write with that. Um, thought of mine or, or my thought process and emotions at the time which is I didn't do it so and then they transfer over to this so-called sergeant in charge of the case so at this point of time I'm talking to three different people already right and, and this sergeant was like hey every time when we get into a case everyone that we got the identity they all said they all denied that uh, they all denied that they are not involved and whatnot but in the end they are actually involved we don't know how, but we, your identity, your IC, and your credit card was involved in this money laundering that we actually sold their nest uh, um, uh, a few weeks ago, right? And then from there on, he moved on to uh, some tracks. He said that, you know, you know, how does this goes down? He said that if you, if you are found guilty and you are not cooperating with us, we could just send a group of people with a letter and just come and pick you up wherever you are wow. right or, or, or search your house that kind of thing well of course me being me I, I didn't know what was the process of all these things i wouldn't have known what he said was true but at that point of time my emotions were very, was very much still i did not do it if you want me to cooperate in this case 
sure, why not? I'll cooperate, right? So from there on, I said, okay, fine. Um, I'll, I'll I'll help you with all the invest investigation that you have, whatever questions you have. Then I said, okay, cool. Let me just then he just said, let me just understand a little bit more. So how many accounts do you have? So they went through every single account that I have. Oh. Um, I have quite a few different accounts because I split my money differently. But there is one main account, and then of course I have my other credit cards account as well. So they went. Through, I I told them I have like five to six accounts. Uh, I'm, I mean under different banks, and they go through one by one each of the account to know, like what do I do with this account? What do I do with this account? How much amount do I have with this account? Even after that, you know that, yeah, yeah. At that point of time, it makes sense to me, right? Because my my case is sort of involved in the credit cards, and they wanted to just investigate. So after I told them everything, I told them or oh, most of my money is in in this particular account, and and which is also Maybank and whatnot. So. They just said that okay, fine. Um, there are two options here. So now, is since you are involved in this investigation, there are two options here. One is you cannot travel out of country for the next three months, three to six months, depending on when we uh, are done with the case. The other option is just give us thirty minutes. We will have Dan Nagara to actually freeze your account just to check if there's any uh, abnormal activity ongoing on. With any of your accounts, right? And they start off with, of course, my main account, which has the most uh, uh, money. Well, at the point of time, they say that okay, it's quite simple. We bank Nagara is gonna send you a, a, a text message, which is very similar to your usual OTP, but it's just a password for us to activate and back to to freeze your account, right? So they send like. Two or three. The process first was to access my account with my password and username, right?、Uh, yeah, I gave them the password and username without th thinking that I'm really talking to the bank Nagara person. So they linked me to four people already, the fourth person, right? And then they from bank Nagara there they said that okay, I'm we are gonna access this account just to check on the activities inside it. I'm like fine, okay. And then after that they gave they sent an OTP and saying that it's a password to. As an approval, from there they actually add a third party account as、mm. a favorite, as a favorite,、mm. right? And the second thing they did was actually to change the limit, transaction limit of the account, right? And then from there on, it was just hell break loose.、Mm. It was just multiple transaction going out. They didn't took all the money out at one transaction, but they actually took out like. Two thousand, one thousand, two thousand, two thousand, like that. While they were taking out the money, were you aware of it, or was, that was the, talking to them? I was still on the call with them, right? While this is going on, while this is on, while this is going on, I was still on the call with them, and I received notification of money withdrawal. Right, that's <laughs> where I realized that something is not right. I quickly access it through my,、uh, and the money was just <laughs> deducting out. Oh. Just like that. Oh my gosh! Right. The, yeah. So and the money, the transferring part where they took out the money, took place like five to ten minutes only. I don't know how they did it, how fast it was, but it was just a blink of an eye, and the money was just gone. Buddy, where we really do feel for you, man. Like you must have gone through so much. For those. That could fall victim to something that you and your friend have encountered. Is there any advice, maybe、uh, like a premonition, maybe just a, a foreshadowing, so that people can know that they might be actually scammed、mm. in something similar like we do? What advice would you give them? You know, the funny thing is, when I walk into the police station, and I told them about my case, the police people there. Had a smirk on their face at that point of time, and they said, "You didn't know about this Macau scam,、mm. right?" And I really didn't know what is Macau scam. But the days following, the day when I fell victim for the scam, the warnings are actually everywhere,、mm. right? On EDMs from、uh, the banks, in the app itself, when we log in, the the warnings are just everywhere. The thing is. Because we hear all this news on news channel, newspaper, and it's just 
someone that you don't know, a stranger that you don't know, that fell for fell victim for it, and your mind is like, oh, I will fall for it. I know, why, why would they fall for this kind of thing? But when it happens to someone close to you, that is just around you in your life, it plays a bigger impact to to your awareness on this part, right? I would say that I think for those who might potentially fell victim, which could be really anyone. Which really could be anyone. They don't just target a specific or like, or if your IQ is lower and whatnot, I'm going to target you. Or if you're more successful or less successful, I'm going to target you. But it could really be everyone, and they play with your emotions, they play with your your feelings at the moment of time, and just ride along with it. I was, I guess the only advice that I can give to people is really just to pay attention to all these signs, stay vigilant, do not ever give up. Your OTP to anyone that asks for it. I mean, it, it sounds really cliche, right? Everyone is telling, yeah. "Don't give or we don't share your OTP." But in the end, I'm the one that gave it to someone. Yeah, yeah. right. And and I I was thinking back, even if they could have my username and password, they really couldn't do nothing in my account, as long as I did not give them the OTP. Yeah, right. So it is true, guys. Do not give or share your OTP with. Anyone, 